okay so we're back i am so sorry thank you guys for being so patient i know it, this is a whole lot of videos but you know i really wanted to be able to um explain this condition really well so you guys are able to um help to cope with you know your acne and how to treat it and stuff and again if you guys have any questions any comments anything that i might have missed definitely comment below or send me a message okay now really quickly um you want to take care of your skin with an acne skin you want to be able to treat the um the condition but also not neglect your skin type now an acneic condition usually um, would be is more common in an oily skin because of all this extra oil that is being produced and the over um, the the excess amount of cells that are being produced. But there's also uh, acne that takes place on a drier skin type, and most likely, if you have a drier skin type, that means that you are using products that are way too occlusive um, or not exfoliating your skin as properly as you should. Okay, so if you have a dry skin type and you are suffering from some acne lesions, most likely you're trying to um, you're trying to dry out the acne, um, but not really taking care of your, your of your skin type at the same time. So. Um, again, it's probably you're, you're using um, products that are too harsh or products that are too heavy or not exfoliating enough, okay? So, for um, cleansers and stuff for this for acne condition, what you want to do, you want to use a foaming cleanser that contains either an alpha hydroxy acid or a salicylic acid, which has um, an antiseptic property to that, and it's a salicylic acid is actually part of the beta hydroxy family, okay, so that's going to help to against alpha hydroxy acids, and the salicylic acid is going to help to loosen up the dead skin cells, open up that um, follicle, and break down that acne impaction. Also, um, you can find uh, foaming cleansers that contain that contain benzoyl peroxide, and um, just make sure that you're not allergic to that. And really quickly, uh, if you use alpha hydroxy um, acid products, make sure that you guys are wearing sunscreen because um, since you are chemically sloughing off the dead layers on your skin or you're exfoliating your skin with this type of chemical, um, you are more sensitive in the sunlight so you can actually end up with pigmentation problems so make sure that you are constantly wearing a sunscreen that contains an SPF of 15 or higher okay now toners I don't use toners anymore um, because most of them are just made with a lot of alcohol and that can actually strip your skin dehydrated and it can actually um, deteriorate the natural pH of your skin which is acidic in nature and the pH is actually um, the it helps to fight off any um, bacteria or foreign objects that might cause you to break out so a lot of the times um, in acneic skins you have stripped down your skin because you're over scrubbing you're using the you know cleansers that are just too harsh you um, are using toners that are just full of alcohol so you're really tearing up your skin and you're not doing it any good so you want to make sure that you're hydrating your skin properly um, so you want to make sure like a toner I would use something that contains like either rose water or chamomile which is going to help to soothe your skin help to um, soothe the inflammation is going to rehydrate your skin so what you want to do is you want to put that toner on and immediately follow up with a moisturizer now your moisturizer again should be um, oil free it should be or water based all right and you want to just put that on and the moisture that's on your skin the 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 from the water or the toner the moisturizer is going to help to seal it is going to help to force that water further down into your skin cells helping them to rehydrate okay now for your spots um, I would suggest something like again like the benzoyl peroxide um, you know the tubes the spot treatments you can use that use that about two three times a day again if you're darker skin make sure that you don't use a percentage of 2.5 any more than that can cause pigmentation problems um, and masks masks I would alternate between two I would alternate between a sulfur mask which again is going to help to heal and dry up your blemishes and exfoliate your skin and also um, a hydrating mask because again your skin needs to be hydrated at the same time so don't try to um, 
you know, dry up all these blemishes and, and turn, um, you know, dehydrating and drying your actual skin. You want to make sure that you're trying, you're kind of treating both, you know, your skin type and the condition. <clears throat> so you want to use a sulfur based mask about two or three times a week. And then, um, on the alternating days, use a hydrating mask and a hydrating mask. You, it, it's going to stay moist on your skin. And what it's going to do is actually going to attract water molecules onto your skin, trapping them in your skin cell layers. And, um, it's going to help to again, hydrate the skin. So you want to look for ingredients that like propylene glycol and some, maybe some, um, botanical extracts like watercress, um, elderflower, sage, aloe vera, um, and chamomile. Okay. So you want to use something like that. So you, again, I would do two masks. I would not use a sulfur or clay based mask every day because that can really dry you up and it can really, um, irritate your skin. So just make sure that, um, you're hydrating your skin at the same time as treating these conditions. Now, I think I covered everything. If, um, you guys have any questions or concerns or again, if you want a specific, uh, product that to be recommended, you know, just send me a message and also, um, a night creams. If you use a night cream, make sure it contains like, um, vitamins, a vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin A again, it helps to normalize, um, your stratum corneum or the keratinocytes on your skin. And it helps to, again, to keep your skin exfoliated. Vitamin C is going to help to heal the inflammation. And vitamin E is going to help to moisturize and repair um, any sun-damaged skin. And um, so, again, um, night creams that contain, like, retinol or alpha hydroxy acids, that's what you want to look for. You don't want to, you don't want to skin a, 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 a night cream that's going to feed your skin or nourish your skin. You want it to help to exfoliate your skin and keep your pores and your, your follicles open and clear, um, helping to fight off any more impactions that you might have. So I know this was long and I'm sorry, but again, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope you guys found this informative and, um, oh, really quickly. That's right. In order for, for you to, um, you want to, to be able to extract your blackheads, what you want to do is you want to do it after you're, you, you've showered when the bathroom is still steamy, you want to take, um, a paper towel and you want to rip the paper towel in half, right? And you want to take that the half of that paper towel and rip it in half itself, all right? So you have the half of a paper towel and you want to rip that half in half. <laughs> then you want to wrap your fingers up, all right, in this tissue. And you want to stretch out the skin and then squeeze and then extract it out all right and you're going to just continue to do that until your skin starts to tighten up okay you only have maybe a minute or two when um the the skin around your pores is soft enough and it's puffed up and it's going to that's what's going to help it's almost like steaming your face it's just going to help the extraction um be easier so the minute your skin starts to feel tight stop because that means that means that it's done you can no longer squeeze you're only going to make matters worse and then a pimple if you have a pimple that's already white what you want to do is you want to take a needle all right it sounds scary but it's not you want to take a needle you want to sterilize or sanitize the tip with alcohol and you want to actually let's say you have a pimple right here you want to actually take the um the needle and just and just puncture um a little hole all right and it shouldn't hurt you want to puncture a little hole on the actual um white part all right you don't want to do it this way you don't want to just poke it this way you want to actually just like on the side and what that's actually going to do is you have you have made an opening for you to be able to drain in the same way that I just showed you, you want to wrap your fingers up in tissue and you want to make sure, make sure that you do that so that you're not getting your fingernails in there and you know furthering spreading the bacteria so what you're going to do is you want to you want to just press on it okay until all the pus is out and you also want to make sure that the plug okay comes out if that little plug does not come out with the um with the pus that means that it's going to get infected again and the pimple is going to form all over again so make sure that when you are ex um draining the pimple you do it like that you make sure you just poke a little hole on the on the actual head on the side and just drain it okay so i know that's on a nasty but again i hope i think i covered everything if you guys have any questions let me know take care and god bless